Hi again guys, I'm back with a, another unboxing from my HK Now Store order. So this is the next one out of the box, which is, you might be getting, <laughs> getting the idea that there's a, a, a common theme running here. Um, this is the Windmill Wall Cube 2. So once again it's got Calvin's logo and you must look up Mr. Okamoto's name because I still don't remember what it is. Um, so this one kind of looks like a regular 3x3 three three until you look at the centre layer and you see they've actually only got one edge piece between sorry, one colour between each centre um, you also find that these centre pieces are going to have orientation as well on this one now, so it's the same as the others in its sole state you can't actually turn everything you have to offset the centre layer before you can turn everything and as with the others, the turning quality is absolutely fine. Feels kind of budget level quality, but not, don't mean that in a really bad way. Just it's a bit, a little bit lightweight, so it's probably using um, thinner plastic or something than you might normally do. But it, it doesn't need to be hugely strong or anything because it is just a three by three shape mod at the end of the day. Um, the regular colour scheme that is used on these puddles with the bright orange, green, and yellow, and Calvin's regular light blue. So yeah, with this one you've got um, these thinner kind of centre layer pieces are going to be the centre pieces. So you line up the edges with those and then you can make the turns any way you wish. And as with the others, I'll try solving it not just from white, centre layer, yellow, but I'll also try solving it as, say, with this as one face. Because that's not going to be as easy or, or as obvious um, because it's not going to be necessary obviously unless you memorise the colour scheme which edge goes into that green centre there so yeah that'll make things a little bit more tricky I think and I'm going to try that with the, all the puzzles in this series see if I can add a little bit of challenge to them um, I haven't got them in this order but there's a couple more he's released in this series that I'll probably end up getting as well because I think they're fun um, and it's nice to see a little bit of well, I know they're not hugely innovative, but just using things that we all know about in a in a new and interesting way, and, and I like that. So, and they're not expensive, and they're nice little additions to the collection. So, yeah, I think we'll call that scrambled. Looks quite cool, scrambled actually. And I'll go away and solve it, and I'll get back to you when I've done it. So, the uh, Windmill War Cube Two is now solved again, uh, just like the others in the series. Um, not a massive challenge compared to a regular 3x3 or shape mod um, but a fun little shape mod nonetheless excellent turning quality um, decent stick quality on these ones no issues with the placement that I found um, the turning quality of them is reasonably good it's as good as any um, kind of cheap cheaper speed cube um, you, you'll find it better than a Rubik's cube but yeah don't expect obviously to be um, Performing your algorithms right, you want an Xanchi or something like that. Um, obviously, it's not going to take that, but yeah, it's um, it's perfectly adequate for what is meant to be a, a fun little shape mod. Um, not very difficult, but it's a, just a fun one to add to the collection. Um, probably aimed more at beginner shape mod solvers rather than experienced puzzlers, but yeah, if you're experienced at shape mods, you're really not going to find any great challenge to this. But it's a fun little thing all the same. I quite like it, um, along with the others in this series, and I think they're nice to have in my collection. Alright then, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time.